Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about teriyaki pork. What I've got going here is uh, two big uh, pork steaks. They're actually bigger than I thought they were going to be because I forgot. When we bought them, we folded them in half before we froze them, so I pulled out three of them today thinking I've got three little small ones and they're actually huge. So I probably got a couple pounds of pork here. All we're doing is frying that up. I haven't done one of these videos in several months. Get this thing turned halfway right so you can see what I'm doing here. This one's coming from Mansfield, Ohio where I currently live with my new bride. I want her to be part of these videos, but she's not comfortable behind the camera yet. Or in front of the camera, I should say. Okay, like I said, all we're doing is all we're doing is frying up this pork right now. That's, uh, I was going to say, let's put a couple pounds. That's quite a bit more than I was thinking, so I'm going to have to add other things to this recipe. Like I said, we're making teriyaki pork today. To this, we're going to add one can of chicken broth. I'm a, I've totally adapted this recipe. This actually started out as a chicken teriyaki recipe, and it was going to be in a crock pot. But don't have time for that on a video, so I'm just going to do it on the stove top and see how it comes out. I'm going to put that up on high. And to that, we're also going to add teriyaki sauce. The original recipe called for like a half a cup, but obviously with this much meat, it only called for a pound of meat, and I've got to probably double that. So I think I'm probably going to add this whole bottle to it. And who knows if that's even going to be enough. Alright, once we get this all stirred around here. Probably didn't need that much chicken broth, but it's in there, so we'll see what happens. We're also going to add brown sugar. Again, this only called for like a third of a cup of brown sugar, but we're going to need quite a bit more than that. I'm saying more like uh, half a cup, maybe even more than that, actually. We're just going by hand here. Going by sight. going to be sweet for sure. And then to that, calls for uh, garlic cloves. I don't have any fresh garlic, so we're going to do it with garlic powder. Again, a generous amount. I'm also going to do a little salt and pepper. And all we're going to do is let this sit here and bubble a little while, hopefully. Let this sit here and boil and reduce down. And I made up some uh, homemade fried rice that I was going to pour this over, but the way this is going, I think I just might add the rice to this. Just make it one big dish. I don't know, what do you think? I 
And we got some bubble action going in there, that'll help it a little bit. Also got some carrots going here. going to start thickening up pretty good. See what I can do. I mean, I'm going to add a little bit of that rice just to see what happens here. Like I said I was just going to pour this over the rice, but Going, I'm not sure I'm going to have enough room to put the rice in there. So, we're at a dilemma, folks. I think we'll just let this boil for a while. Got a little bit of snow here the last few days, and nothing right now. It's all melted off. It got up to about 43 today. And my bride and I are going to uh, back down to South Carolina next week to hunt for houses down there. We plan on moving to South Carolina shortly. California was too far to ask her to go, get away from her family. And I don't particularly care for the cold weather, so we're trying to we're compromise and find a weather that's comparable to San Diego. South Carolina seems to be the closest to that. So we're gonna we're gonna plan to start a life in South Carolina. Gotta tell you, coming back here and marrying my bride is the best thing I've ever done. All right, should I add rice to this or not? That is the question. A little bit and see what happens here. See if I can do this without tearing up the whole thing. This, like I said, this was fried rice that I had made earlier. And I was going to pour the mixture over, but just going to go with one big pot here. Now my wife likes pork chops, but she doesn't care for pork steak, and I'm going to try to win her over with this one. See what happens. I've got a feeling this is going to be a completely different flavor from anything that she, or I, for that matter, have tried. If you're going to try this recipe, cut down on the uh, chicken broth a little bit. You probably wouldn't need a whole can. So it actually called for a one cup. And I put about a cup and three quarters in there. Only because I had way more meat than I was planning on. Like I said, this is, a, this is actually a crock pot recipe. So it's, you know, we're talking let it slow cook for six, eight hours. We're doing a souped up version here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since we're on a time constraint here, on about a 15 minute time constraint with Facebook and YouTube, I'm going to turn this off and give it a shot. time you could just let this boil down and reduce. I think it would be really, really good. It's going to be pretty good this way too, but that reduced down would be even better. But for now, we're going to see what happens here. So I'm going to take a little bit of the fried rice, 
put it down on the plate. Starting to thicken up a little bit, that would be that would be really good. Pour a little juice on there. And carrots that I did. This is a side dish here. Teriyaki. Not sure if you can see this good enough or not. Pork teriyaki with carrots. And I'll just try a little bit myself. And see. Turn that back on, let it reduce a little bit. I think that'll even be better. But that's that's very good. Really got a strong teriyaki and a brown sugar flavor to it. Cool. Any recipes you guys want me to do, send them into my Facebook page. Send me a private message. So until next time, laissez les bon temps relay. Let the good times roll. We'll talk to you again. And that's what I'm talking about.